Hey guys, today I want to show you a super easy method to get save files from an emulator or online. For example, if you downloaded it from GameFAQs, if you actually played on PCS, PCSX2, I'll show you how to put it on a real PS2 memory card. So uh, we're going to need a few things first. First, we're going to need a memory card or free McBoot install. There are plenty of guides for that. You don't need to mod your PS2 in any way. All this is temporary. Once the card is removed, free McBoot will be gone. Anyway, this is going to be a super easy method. No extracting, no weird stuff like that. Uh, and I'll show you how to do it for both ways. So you can take a save file from your PS2 memory card and put it on your PC, and you'll be able to take a save file from your computer and put it on your memory card. So uh, hopefully that clears things up. Uh, last bit of disclaimer warning stuff, anytime you mess with a PS2 memory card, even if that's just copying from one to the other, there's a chance that something could get messed up. So this program is, we're programs going to be using are super safe, but always make sure if you have a super like 100 hour save file, super important stuff, back it up to another memory card first, just using the official built in um, programs. So I would highly suggest you do that for anything super important. But like I said, these programs are pretty safe. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is get a hold of our save file in whatever format we want. Um, GameFAQs usually uses .max files, I believe. So here we go. Um, Here's my memory card folder. Uh, I have a .max file I downloaded from GameFAQs. So these are super easy to convert. All you need to do is get, use a program called uh, PS2 Save Converter. I'll have this linked in the description too. Uh, then just go ahead and load it up. It should look like this. All right, now with the converter window open, we're gonna go ahead and open up this .max file. So go to File, Open, Timesplitters 2.max. It says Timesplitters 2, Game Settings, and we got the individual files inside. So now we want to go ahead and go to file and say save as. All right, and now it's letting us save our memory card. So we can call this whatever. I'm just going to call it time.psu. You can use the default name if you want it, but I just want something shorter. Go ahead and click save, and there we go. Now we got time.psu. Um, now, if you're using an emulator like PCSX, it gets a little bit more tricky because PCSX uses virtual memory cards. So this thing we downloaded, the .max file, is actually an individual save file. So if we have a memory card, we need to convert it. So first thing I need to do is find out what your memory card is. If you don't know, you can go to PCXX and Memory Cards under Config, and this will show you where your memory card is stored. Here's the folder, and here's the currently active memory card. So you can see here in slot 1 is MCD001. So we go to this folder that's at the top, which I already have open. And here we go, 001, 001. That means it's the right memory card. And again, this is only for if you're using it from an emulator. So we go ahead and copy this and we put it in our other folder. Um, and again, only for people using emulator saves, not for single saves. Uh, the second program we're going to be using is MyMC. This will let us um, view the actual virtual memory card. So here I have it here. Go ahead and open up MyMC. Dot, or dash GUI, and you'll get this cool program. Go ahead and browse to where your memory card is. All right, open up the memory card file. As you can see here, we have a bunch of different save files. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, why not? So you find your save file, the description should be here, the code's over there. Once you have the file you want, it, you want just go ahead and go to the top and go to export. And then you'll have a bunch of different options, .max and .psu, we want .psu. Um, and then just save your PSU file. So we can call this, I forgot where we backed up, Kingdom Hearts, so this is KH. Make sure there's no weird symbols in it, just simple words should be fine. All right, so now we have a Kingdom Hearts save file, and now we have a Time Splitters 2 save file. So how do we get these on our memory card? Well, we need to copy them to a flash drive. So let's go ahead and copy these, and I'm going to a flash drive real quick. Here's my flash drive. Again, it needs to be FAT32 if you're not sure. Right click anywhere in the flash drive's browser window, go to properties, and it should say FAT32. If it says anything else, you're gonna have to format it. I'll link guides down in the description if you're not sure how. And again, formatting will delete all your data. So it's usually just best to get an old flash drive and use that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and paste these in the root. You can put them in a folder if you want, like a folder called memory cards, but that's just one extra step. So I'm just gonna paste these in. And then you gotta wait for them to copy and they're done. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the PS2. Okay, before we get started, definitely double check, make sure your memory card is the one you wanna work with. So I'm checking here, and my memory card one has none of my free McBoot stuff. This is the one I wanna work with, so it's memory card one, while memory card two has all my mod stuff. So all right, go ahead and load up free McBoot, and then go to ulaunch elf, or launch elf. 
All right, moving forward, we have um, Japanese style layout for confirm and cancel. So if you're used to pressing X to confirm, this may get a little confusing, but all you have to remember is just circle to go forwards and X is for marking and triangle goes back. So it's not a lot to remember, just remember circle is confirm. All right, press circle and now we're at this paths list and we should be able to go down to mass for mass storage or USB storage, it's all the same. Um, and now we're in here. If you have any of your memory card files, files in a folder, just go ahead and open up that folder with circle. But all our stuff's in the main directory. And here is our Kingdom Hearts save file. And here is our Time Splitters 2 save file. They both end in .psu because we converted them. So press X on each of the files to mark them. So here's our first Kingdom Hearts save file. Here's our Time Splitters save file. We're pressing X. And once they're both marked, highlight one of the marked ones. See so the text turns red. And press R1. And it'll bring up this menu on the right, and we want to go to copy. So press circle and copy. Now press triangle to go back. And keep pressing triangle till you're in this paths menu with MC0, MC1, and all that. And here are our two memory cards. MC0 is our first memory card. MC1 is our second. So remember which memory card you want to use. We're going to use MC0. Now. So now we're going to do R1 again. And we're going to do PSU paste. Not MC paste, not normal paste. PSU paste. And press circle. It says, do you want to overwrite? This is saying one of our save files already exists on the memory card. So we're going to say yes. And now it's writing all our files to our memory card. And once this box disappears, we'll be done. So now we're done. So now we can go ahead and restart our PS2 by pressing the reset button or the power button. All right, now we're back in the PS2 memory card menu. We backed out and opened this up. So as you can see here, we have our 100% level 99 Kingdom Hearts save file, and we also have a Time Splitters 2 save file. So now, just to show you that it's working, we're going to go ahead and boot up the game. All right, here's our PS2 save file. As you can see, we have all the levels unlocked. So yep, it works great. So yep, that is how you import a save file to your real memory card. So now let's go ahead and export one real quick. Go ahead back to Launch Elf, open it up. All right, and now we're gonna go to File Browser, and we're gonna go to Memory Card 1 or 2, based on what you want. Remember, 0 is 1, 1 is 2. And as you can see here, these save files are kinda of hard to figure out uh, because they have the codes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press L1, and that will bring us up to this list. Now we press Square, and it'll say Game Title and Details is now highlighted. Now press Triangle, and now all our games have proper names. So now we can go ahead and mark any save files we want, just like before we press X and marks. And I want Super Sega Superstars, and I want uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, and you know what, let's take Godzilla High Scores too. So we have all those highlighted, as you can see there's little dots next to them. S scroll over to one of the dotted ones, so your text is highlighted again, and press R1, and now we're going down to Copy, which is right up here, and press Circle to Copy, See the green square, that means we're good. Press triangle a few times till we're back here. Now go to mass storage and press circle. All right, now in here, you can scroll anywhere you want. Uh, especially if you want to put it in a folder, you can just open up a folder uh, by pressing circle on it, but we're not gonna use a folder. Once you found where you want to put it, just press R1 and then do PSU paste and press circle. Okay, let's go back to our PC now and open up our memory card folder. Yeah, all right, and now we have some new files on our memory card. We have uh, Godzilla High Scores, Sega Superstars, and Star Wars Bounty Hunter.psu. So we can just go ahead and drag these, drop these back into our memory cards folder. And now, um, you, if you wanna use these on a emulator, it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and open up your memory card through MyMC again, you know, file, open, and then choose your memory card. And now you can go to File, Import, and then select your PSU file. For example, here's our Sega Superstars file. And now we should have Sega Superstars is on our virtual memory card. If you want to put your save file on GameFAQ, they may not actually support the PSU format. So you can convert that using the same program as last time. XP Save Converter, go to File, Open, and then Find your save file, for example, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. We go to File, Save As, 
and we can make it an XPS file, which they normally do support. So store was bounty hunter .xps, save. And now we have an XPS file that they should actually support. So yeah, um, that is how you get your save files working. We can now load up this save file on an emulator. This save file right here, this will now work on an emulator. Too bad the iToy doesn't actually work on emulators, but yeah, that's it. You've now officially converted your save files to and from the PS2 memory card. I hope this was helpful. If you have more questions, I'll link some forums down below, which might help. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.